Hey guys, Dylan Tommy here. Gonna check out the Paladarium tonight. We'll quickly run through and do a little update. I'll let you guys check out this system. Looking really lush, and uh, I like to check it out when the drip system's running. I have all the lights on right now, and the drip is running in full effect. Keeping it really moist in here, everything's looking great. This plant right here is actually growing out a new leaf that's yet to open right here. But everything looks great. All the moss that's growing on the rock facade is really filled in really nice. Here's a little update on my growth on the bromeliad here. The little pup shooting off of it. Looking pretty good. Almost ready to open up. And a lot of these baby tears are really filling in. I have this uh, stem kind of growing right down here. And uh, it's making its way to the bottom layer. They all started way up here. They're all planted you know, behind that bromeliad. And they're just climbing around the tank. They made their way. I have a couple stems that have made their way up to this corner here. And they're growing out pretty good along with the moss. Been focusing on the moss these last few months, trying to uh, really get it to adapt and acclimate to living on this terrestrial face. And it's done well. You can see the areas where uh, the water drip where it gets the best flow, water will always take its, you know, fastest way down. So uh, you can see the the naturalized effect where uh, it gets the most flow, and I like that. Kind of spreads the nutrients around the tank a little bit, and uh, makes it look a little more natural. This little pad here hasn't filled in as well as I hoped it to. It's a uh, a moist area gets really wet and not the best light so I uh, haven't filled in as much as some other areas I actually just recently planted this little stem of baby tears uh, on this side and we'll see how well they grow out a quick little paludarium update wanted to give you guys a look haven't showed it in a while everything's doing great and we'll dive down into the aquatic part you can see the the baby tears really growing out down here. I had trimmed them about a month and a half ago and I've been periodically pulling moss out of this tank and adding it to other systems because it just grows out the best in here. So uh, you can see the moss has slowly disappeared but all the growth that I have in the in the water feature here is all growing out fantastic so I'm not too worried about it. Like I said it's a great system to uh, kind of grow out all this java moss. Even the little stems of Ludwigia looking really good in this system. Paludarium's in full effect. I wanted to give you guys a look. Looking really nice tonight, so I decided we're cruising. We're cruising. It's really bright. The middle light hasn't gone off just yet. Let me see if I can show you guys. Usually, it'll run with just this lighting for about two hours before. Uh, it goes to the dusk effect, and I know I've showed you guys that lighting in the past. But I don't want to run it with the full brights on all day. It kind of has a, a natural effect as if uh, the sun's making its way across the sky and then eventually setting. So that's the effect I tried to create here in the paludarium. And uh, it's looking great. Uh, I've been having fun with it. The newts still doing their thing. I bet he's hiding behind here in his little area. Yep, that's where they hide, behind the bromeliads. And I told you guys, it's just a cool little spot for them to seek refuge on these uh, little platforms here and uh, behind the plants. Eventually, when the baby tears really grow in, uh, I expect this area to be a little more shaded for them. And uh, maybe they'll even come out a little more often. Um, as far as the newts, I noticed that during the nighttime or a little later on in the day, they have been making their way into the water feature, but still spending a lot of time up on uh, the scape, up on the terrestrial parts. If I can show you here where this rock kind of breaks the water here, that's their little zone where they climb up and down. So really cool habitat for them, having a blast growing it out. Thanks for watching guys, I'll keep you updated. It's been a really fun system, you guys know that. And uh, I'll let you know 
Appreciate you watching. You guys have a good one. Tank on.